Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Command and Conquer, the Nod Campaign. And when last we left off, we were busy dealing with all of these harvesters that the GDI were sending out. That for some reason, instead of running away when we uh, attack, will just follow us to our base and thus will explode in a spectacular fashion. But hey, the more of them we can deal with, the easier it'll be for us to uh, obliterate them later. We have a repair facility here, and uh, one single buggy here that is proving to be the distraction for at least a few units. This uh, small squadron of recon bikes will also be really, really good at dealing with uh, any of the orcas when we eventually get uh, towards them. Also, that technician made a terrible, terrible mistake. So we're going to send this unit out here to go and uh, deal with uh, the next harvester that comes by. And eventually, we'll know that they've run out of money when they start um, selling their uh, various uh, structures here to make sure that they can buy another harvester. Case in point, here is another harvester. And it's going to be very, very dead very soon. And for some reason, it managed to run over my uh, bike there. I've no idea how that happened. But it managed it somehow, and we've just lost the, uh... Oh wow, you also airstrike that a little. Building. Well, we can repair that. That was a lot of damage, actually, but uh, we'll be alright, because all they're sending is, uh... Some grenadiers! That's a really bad idea. Are you going to be run over? Nope, you managed to avoid that. But we managed to deal with you. Just to repair that a little bit there. We need to start building some light tanks, I think. I think that's a pretty good idea. How many more of these uh, harvesters are they going to send out? That's another question that uh, we'll need to answer at some point. I have no idea where you're going, but uh, the further away you go from all of the things that, I, um, that I'm sending over there, the better. Also, we're going to have to get rid of that gunship at some point. Is that a harvester? That is a harvester. Excellent. We'll just uh, deal with you, shall we? There we go, we have your attention. You come over here so that we can kill you. And now we'll just start shooting you. There we go. The more we start shooting you, the easier this will become later. Hello! I wouldn't shoot my harvesters if I were you. You should be more focused about uh, dealing with the obelisk of Pew Pew over there that is absolutely obliterating everything that comes by. Literally. I mean, you eventually notice it's there, but it's a little too late by that point. Just a little. Excellent. I think we now need to send these over here just to make sure that no other enemies decide to turn up. Also, we could uh, send these artillery pieces to them. Uh, I think they have another harvester. Oh, yes, they do. Building. Here comes the squad to go and distract them. Hello, we're here to distract your attention. Come over here instead of uh, harvesting things. And we're here to make sure that this gunship will not potentially pester us later. There are some walkers over there. We need to be a little bit careful of uh, sending units too close. Goodbye, harvester. That was a nice amount of money that used to be there that now no longer is. Also, we need to be very careful of sending the um, artillery here just yet, because we know for sure that um, they still have money. Not much money, mind you, but they have a little bit of money. Also, I think the uh, gunship is now gone and will never, ever return. Excellent. Let's start building even more of uh, these. A flame tank will deal with those units up there, though, quite nicely. And we happen to have one right here. Then again, they seem content to come over here and get blown up instead, so uh, we'll settle for that, I suppose. Are they building another one of them? I don't think they are anymore. I think they've actually run out. Are you going after my uh, bikes here? That is a terrible idea. I'd like to provide a distraction. It's called going to the Obelisk of Light here. Hello! Would you like to say hi to it? I don't think you would. When I said go over here, I meant go over here. There we go! Much better. Excellent. And I think very slowly we're going to have to take care of all of the things over here. Because now we have the capability to earn a lot of money. And there are now no more units up there to worry about. At all. However, we certainly want to uh, send things up here just to uh, distract that airstrike that inevitably will arrive at some point. 
I think they've run out of money at long last. Yes, sir. It's just a yes, guess, sir. mainly because they uh, haven't sent anything out to get us for quite a while. Yes, sir. Hmm. We should test this by uh, attacking some of these units up here in the uh, guard towers. Yes, if sir. they, uh, instead of uh, rebuilding it, sell it immediately when they're trying yes, to repair, sir. we know that they're completely Affirmative. out of money. Hmm. There is a mammoth tank, though, and we do need to watch out for that. Yes, sir. Oh, there's that airstrike. Hello! And goodbye, Buggy. Unit Unfortunate, but we building. can deal with that. We can deal with that. I think they Construction have, in fact, complete. run out of money. I think it's now finally time to uh, capture this uh, technology center here. It'll cost 500 to get the engineer to do it, but it's certainly worth Unit doing so. Ooh, they actually are sending an attack out. If we just uh, ignore this attack, yes, I'm sure it'll go building. just fine. I'm not sure... Yep, that does give us access to the stealth building. tank. I should probably uh, show that off. Here comes their final assault. There is a problem with this assault, and that is that uh, it's not going to get very far. At all. Yep, terrible idea. You can certainly try and... Uh... There we go, there's that stealth tank. The stealth tank is pretty much invisible. It will only uh, get into uh, any trouble if anyone runs into it. So we could quite comfortably explore the surrounding regions. Yes. This is ideally what you want to use to uh, get rid of things like harvesters. Because it can uh, attack and then just turn invisible. And then they've no idea where you've gone. There's that uh, tank. I wonder if we move close enough. Yep, there we go. They've no idea we're here. Which is brilliant. So we're just going to explore a little bit. And uh, Ah, there is the, uh, there's the construction yard. We... Ooh, you are patrolling sort of Moving up out. there, so we need to be a little Moving bit out. careful. But that is where the construction yard is, which is good to know. Yes, sir. It's Moving very out. good to know, actually. I wonder if we could very, very sneakily deal with that. Wow, you have no idea we're here, do you? Yes, sir. Not even slightly. Let's Unit see what we can out. do, shall we? We could use the commando to blow that up. Yes, sir. It's a plan. Yes, sir. Moving out. Yes, sir. Have they Follow run yes, out of money? Let's find out. The answer Unit is, uh, probably. Yes, if this takes a little bit of damage and then is sold, yes, we'll know they have no money. Yes, sir. So far, all those shots are a little bit... Yep, they have no money. They've completely run out. Yes, sir. Which is good, because we can start dealing with all of these things here. Oh, careful, careful. We're about to lose that unless we use the recon bikes here. Deal with that! Oh, too late. Too late. Way too late. Fortunately, we didn't attract the attention of the, um, Definitely didn't attract the attention of the Mammoth Tank. We could very carefully send this into the base. Very carefully. We could build another stealth tank just in case we lose it. So what do we have in here? We have a small amount of inventory. And we have a small amount of base. It's not a very big base, and as you can see, the uh, silos are in fact empty. Completely empty. Yep, this is their base in its entirety. And if we're very careful, we can explore it without uh, losing this tank. I wonder if we... Uh, there's that one solitary walker. There's only one. If we move this tank up here, we'll attract the attention of the uh, Orca again. A little bit up. There we go. We have attracted its attention. Now we can deal with it. And I think that should do it. Excellent. No more Orca to worry about. Just a mammoth tank that I think we could quite comfortably take care of with all of these units that we have here. Just need to uh, deal with that unit first. Once we've dealt with the uh, guard tower, we won't have so many problems. I think we have a few tanks here. Oh yeah, just a couple. We'll uh, send them over there. Oh, and excellent. That is now dealt with. You can see they're very, very slowly trying to build. Uh oh. Not so good. Those were the most northern units. Not good. Fortunately, we have a uh, stealth tank moving up. We want to now deal yes, with uh, this here. 
building. Yes, One sir. mammoth tank, out of the way. We should be able to deal with it using the, uh, all these tanks here. Be very careful not to stay too close to their units. There we go. Excellent. I think we've pretty much done that quite well. That is very slowly moving up. And that is still here because uh, the northernmost unit is there. We want to uh, start attacking this. We Moving could out. do. Yes, we sir. definitely could do. Yes, sir. It would be quite funny to do so. Yes, sir. I think we should. There we go. And now Moving we move out. away very quickly, and they don't know Moving we're out. here. It's yes, very sneaky. Very Vehicle sneaky reporting. indeed. Hello, Grenadiers. Yes, sir. You've made a terrible mistake. Yes, sir. It is called dealing with a flame tank. Now we'll get a few more of their attention, and then go invisible. Oh! Careful! Very careful. And then they'll circle around the uh, refinery for some reason, and then go and deal with this uh, tank. Hello! Terrible mistake here. Yeah, it was a really bad idea. Vehicle reporting. Okay, here is our uh, mobile make them sell everything machine. It's quite good at that, actually. There we go. You will sell this eventually. There we go. You have sold it. Excellent. And here is the thing that will protect it. Barnabas. You managed to uh, buy a few more things out of that. It wasn't so bad, but uh, the second flame tank will do us some uh, good here. Oh, oh, careful. Just gotta make sure that they deal with all of these uh, units here. Hello. Goodbye. Building. Excellent. Slow and steady out. wins the race. So this race is the race to uh, obliterate everything that they have. Construction complete. Can we get over here? There we go. Goodbye, the advanced guard tower. Arrived. How are you? Yes, you're not very well because you're about to uh, be sold. Now there is nothing defending this base whatsoever. I think it's time to move in and deal with it. Guess what? I have a flame tank! And you now have nothing. Excellent. There we go. The first thing we want to go and blow up is we want to go and blow up the uh, construction yard here. With the construction yard gone, we won't have any problems dealing with anything else. Alright, stealth tanks. Be super stealthy and deal with this. You may even sell this, which is a terrible decision. I don't know why anyone would ever want to sell this, but uh, now you have no capability to uh, deal with anything. There we go. I think it's time to just start blowing everything up now. Marvelous. There we go. And now they can't build anything else whatsoever. Not bad at all, I don't think. Soon we shall be on the... Oh, hello, Mr. Technician. Run away in terror! You lasted a lot longer than I thought you would. And I think with that, we can uh, pretty much say goodbye to uh, anything here. Let's uh, buy a few more silos though before the end here, so we uh, don't lose any of the money that we're harvesting right now. Excellent. New silos to get rid of. I don't know how you're managing to repair things, because you should have no money whatsoever. Unless you use what little money you have left to repair these, but uh, there we go. That's gone, and... Uh, this is gone, and we'll just deal with you. I think this is a mission well done indeed. A little bit uh, tentative in the beginning with the uh, start, but not bad at all. There we go. Just two more power plants. I think we pretty much won. I don't know how they're managing to repair these, but hey. Victory is ours! All thanks to the Obelisk of Light. successful. We may have lost a fair amount of uh, units, but I think they lost an awful lot more. Let's find out! Actually, we barely lost any units at all in comparison. 
one neutral unit, two neutral units, and we may have lost one building, but they lost 21 buildings. Excellent. How's that battle map going for GDI? I don't think it's going well at all. Excellent. And what about GDI? That's really not much of a game at all. There are two ways that we can go into this. Hmm, I think we're going to pick the left-hand one. There we go. Let's see what we need to do, shall we? It has been truthfully said that knowledge is power. As you are no doubt aware, GDI has begun field testing its satellite-based ion cannon despite your previous success. Unfortunate. But it does provide one with an interesting speculation. Inside this communication satellite are the security codes that provide GDI access to this ultimate weapon. It is imperative that the Brotherhood secure these codes now. You must capture the center and retrieve the security codes from their databases. Be steadfast. Do not be deterred, no matter what the cost. It's a slight exaggeration there of what it's capable of, but, um, it is capable of zapping anything on the map, and we need to, uh, make sure that we do what we can here. We have a lot of units available here. We have a tank, we have two buggies, and we have two recon bikes, which we shall mark as one, two, three, and four, respectively. Because this mission is going to be tricky, much like the last one. Apologies for the interruption there. Sir, Let's move on, shall we? And see what this uh, buggy can find. We need to make sure that this uh, construction yard is as safe as possible, because uh, that pretty much is the only way we're going to get anywhere. We could build a base here, but I really get the feeling we are not meant to. Most likely because there's nothing here. At all. Is there anything worth, um, looking for? Well, there's no Tiberium from what I can see, so we want to be very careful. What about over here? Anything? Anything at all? Oh, there are some Mammoth tanks, and that's really bad. But I have a plan on what to do with those Mammoth tanks. They'll want to blow this, uh, MCV up above all else, and I wonder if they'll Vehicle follow it out. if I give them the uh, chance to blow it up. Unit if they do, we could then reporting. use these units here Unit to uh, obliterate anything in our path. Hello! I am a mobile construction vehicle. Are you going to try and blow me up? Let's find out. They are, and they are not going to uh, give chase. Yes, sir. Hello! Ah! Now you're going to give chase. Right, now you're going to give chase. I don't know what you're giving chase to, but let me give you a more tempting target. You actually appear completely unbothered by um, the mobile construction vehicle. I wonder what you're trying to hit. Is it something that's really, really fast? Is it this? It is this. Right, I have a plan. It is a cunning plan. If we uh, move this down here and basically get these units here separated out, you'll start chasing that, which is fine. I want you to chase this because I want these to start attacking this while that is distracted. Aha! They're not focusing whatsoever. Oh, they are focusing a little now, which is really not good. Unfortunately, um, we managed to deal with one of them though. 
One of them has been defeated. And now we're going to have to be very, very careful about dealing with the other one, because uh, we are going to not have a very good uh, time of uh, destroying it. Which one of these units is it most bothered with? Okay, it's not bothered with the minigunner whatsoever, even slightly. Hmm. Is it one of these buggies? I think it's this buggy here. So if we... Uh, Yes, sir. We get Moving it out. to uh, yes, chase the buggy, and then we yes, uh, get these to. Uh, there we go. Yes, you go Moving this out. way, yes, and we'll yes, get this yes, buggy sir. to very, very. Yes, uh, oh, yes, this is not working. This is not working. We just need to uh, run here, I think. Yes, Good plan. Let's just flee, shall we? Excellent plan. Over the bridge. I don't think we can blow up the bridge. I don't actually think the mammoth tank is really bothered about us. We managed to save some of the units, though, which is not so bad. I think here might be a pretty good location for a base, though. Let's find out! There are some things there for us to uh, get, which is fantastic. Okay. A refinery is the first thing we want. In fact, I think the refinery is uh, definitely the second thing we'll want as well. Although a Hand of Nod will certainly be useful. There we go, refinery. Hand of Nod, definitely. And then we'll have a... Uh, we'll need to build a few things rather quickly. First, we need a uh, minigunner here so that we can uh, distract any airstrikes. Although I imagine, unfortunately, the uh, refinery, um, the harvester. The harvester specifically is going to be the target for any airstrikes. Oh, here comes some units. Oh dear, not good. We need to uh, build something to distract these very quickly. Because I don't think uh, anything we have here is going to help. You guys just want to keep chasing down. That seems like a great idea. There we go. Excellent. Uh-oh. Here comes some very nasty things indeed. Fortunately, I think we managed to deal with that quite well, actually. And now we have two harvesters which should help us deal with a few things, like we need to get an advanced power plant very, very quickly, so that we can start building an obelisk. I think the enemies are going to come from up here, which is worth exploring. Marvelous, that's a lot of power right there. Communications tower next, so we can get that obelisk going. The obelisk will certainly help us out, and uh, eventually we might even be able to get rid of that mammoth tank. I'm not sure we want to, but uh, exploring is uh, going to help us out at least for now. There we go. What do we have here? We have only one way to uh, go forward, so an obelisk might actually be a good idea. There we go. Ah, I see some units. That's not good at all. We have now lost our buggy, which is rather bad. Okay, a flame trooper might be helpful here. I think a flame trooper will definitely be helpful here. Hello, you appear to be distracted. Excellent. Being distracted was a terrible mistake. And we only just have this still. Ah, we need to repair this a lot more than we already are. Fortunately, I think they're a little bit busy, which is certainly going to help us. Oh dear. Okay, where is a power plant? Is the power plant going to help us out here? It may do, but I think an advanced power plant is going to help us out in the long run. Just need to lure these over to the turret. Wow, a lot of things are really not working very well. That's probably not helping, the fact that that is uh, damaged. They do generate more power when they aren't damaged. There we go. Now I think we're safe. At least for the time being. And when we come back, folks, now that we have the Obelisk of Light set up, I'm a little more confident that we're going to be okay. At least for the time being. They are probably going to send a lot of attacks against us, but um, as long as we have the Obelisk here, we should be okay. Ah, here comes a tank. Just focus on that, will you? Here we go. Marvelous. I know you're trying to deal with this Harvester, but it's really not going to do you any favors. At all. Unit ready. Especially considering the fact that you're just running through Tiberium to get to it. I really would consider that. A lot. And when we come back, folks, I think we're in a good situation to try and deal with that GDI base. Or rather, get the advanced communications tower, because that's all we really need to do. So I'll catch you next time, folks. And I'll see you then. Later.